So, how is profit determined under the statement of affairs method? Profit is equal to closing capital minus opening capital as we have discussed so many times by now. <clears throat> if you take closing capital, less opening capital, but I add back the drawings which I have withdrawn from the business because how did I withdraw from the business? It was nothing but profit which I have withdrawn from the business. Had that money not been withdrawn, they too would have been a part of the profits. Therefore, I add back the drawings, <clears throat> closing capital, add back the drawings and suppose my capital has increased because I had introduced fresh capital then that is not a part of the profit and therefore I reduce that amount to arrive at the profit for the year. So in Santosh's case, he had a closing capital of 82,000. He had drawings of 25,000. His fresh capital introduced, we assumed there was nothing and the opening capital of 5,000 and we concluded that his profit was 1,2,000. <coughs> Therefore, closing capital minus opening capital would be equal to the profit for the year if there are no other drawings and if no further capital has been introduced. However, if drawings were there, add the amount of drawings to arrive at the profit for the year. If fresh capital was introduced, then remove that because that is the capital increase in capital or your closing capital has increased because you introduced fresh capital. It is not a part of profit. Therefore, remove any fresh capital which is introduced and get the profit of profit for the year. So, ascertainment of profit under the statement of affairs method is closing capital minus opening capital, add back drawings if any, reduce fresh capital. If any. <clears throat> Arun started a business of trading in stationary items on 1st January with a capital of 1 lakh. At the end of one year, he had the following balances cash 12,000, bank 35,000, furniture 48,000, debtors 25,000, creditors 20,000, prepaid insurance 5,000, investments 40,000, outstanding salary 10,000. All they have said is ascertain Arun's capital as at the end of the year. How do we ascertain the capital? We could prepare a statement of affairs, a list of assets and liabilities and the balancing figure asset minus liabilities would give us the capital. <clears throat> so I'm not making a statement of affairs here. I'm just making a list of the assets. What are the assets here? He has cash. 12,000, bank 35,000, furniture 48,000, debtors 25,000, prepaid insurance 5,000, investments 40,000. <clears throat> not written all of them. Cash, bank, furniture, debtors, prepaid insurance and investments. What is the total here? We are talking of 8, 10, 20, 25, 16. <clears throat> 1 lakh 65,000 assets. What are the liabilities? Liabilities are <clears throat> creditors 20,000 and outstanding salary, salary due 10,000, that is 30,000. Therefore, what is capital as at the end of the year? Capital is assets minus liabilities 1,65,000 minus 30,000 equal to 1,35,000. I have just listed the assets and liabilities in rough year in short. Normally, a statement of affairs would be prepared. Liabilities, rupees, assets, rupees. The balancing figure on the liability side would represent capital, which is nothing but 1,35,000. <clears throat> Continuing with the same example, what do you think was the amount of profit made by Arun, assuming he had withdrawn an amount of 5,000 per month during the year and had injected a fresh capital of 25,000 during the year? <clears throat> Uh, 
Arun had started with a capital of uh, 1 lakh. <clears throat> so it's going to be, what would be the profit? What we need to find out is the amount of profit. <clears throat> How do we find out the profit? Closing capital. How much is the closing capital? We had computed it was 1 lakh 35,000. Yeah. Add drawings. Drawing seems to be how much? Drawings is 5,000 per month. Therefore, that's 60,000, 5,000 per month. He injected a fresh capital of 25,000. Less fresh capital introduced. Less opening capital. So basically, closing capital minus opening capital would give you the profit. But if there was drawings, then add back the drawings. If fresh capital was introduced, remove the amount of fresh capital. How much was the opening capital? It was 1 lakh. If you check this, therefore, what is the profit for the year? It would be 25, 10, 70,000 is the profit for the year. This is the profit for the year. Extremely simple. <clears throat> Next, let us discuss. Estimate the closing capital as on 31st March, assuming that opening capital as on 1st April was 4,10,000. Drawings during the year 40,000 and profit during the year is 50,000. I'll give you a minute to just think it out on your own. The question is what? What do we have to do? The profit is given to us here. We only want to find out closing capital. That is more simple and something which we have done when preparing final accounts to what is the closing capital. <clears throat> Closing capital is nothing but opening capital plus profit minus drawings. Minus drawings. Opening capital plus net profit minus drawings. Assuming that opening capital is 4,10,000, less drawings during the year is 40,000. So this is drawing. And what is the profit? Profit during the year we add 50,000. Therefore, you get 4,20,000. <clears> this is your closing capital. Opening capital plus profit for the year. If it's loss, we deduct the loss. Less drawings for the year. That would give us the closing capital. So correct answer, option C, 4,20,000.